Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. My name is Hafsa Mohammed. I'm a fashion designer and I'm also a fashion entrepreneur. And uh, today we are here because, you know, we are... Uh, oh my God! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm really sorry! Okay. We are here to tell you We are here to tell you Hello, how are you? My name is Hafsa Mohammed. I'm a fashion designer. I'm also a fashion entrepreneur. And um, I'm running, uh, you know, uh, a fashion show that is called Isli Fashion Week and uh, we are inviting everyone actually and whether you're a Muslim, not Muslim but although it's a more modesty and um, it is happening at Sa'ali Muslim Club 18th March this year inshallah and we expect you all to be there yeah. and uh, those who are with me today this is, uh, this is uh, Eve, she's a model and she's a designer also yeah, introduce yourself uh, Hi guys, my name is Husna Saumu Ibrahim uh, owner and founder of Dona Muslima. It's a modesty fashion brand uh, based in Kibra. Um, so yes, I would love to invite all of you to uh, Isli Fashion Week, which will be happening this coming Saturday on the 18th at uh, Saali Muslims. You're all invited and uh, you can purchase your tickets online and also at the gate. In case you don't have any plans for the weekend, come and enjoy some Modesty fashion. I'm a creative designer myself, so I don't really conform to the norm of you know societal pressure about how a Muslim woman should dress. For so long as you feel comfortable and modest, that's a modest enough for you. And modesty uh, sort of comes is derived uh, in Islam. It all comes from the heart, right? Your connection with God, your relationship with God will guide you to dress modestly. But yes, if you, that's kind of uh, the fashion you're into, come and check out some of our designs. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Evelyn Jerry. I am Miss Kavika of Kenya right now, the reigning. And um, I, I was approached by Hafsa um, because she was looking for a plus size model and she didn't get one. I'm the only non-Muslim model in this show and also representing the Kavi girl. I, I appreciate the fact that they uh, decided to accommodate the Kavi girl and we, we would like to encourage more Kavi models to come up and as we have been doing the training one thing that has occurred to me is that um, there is no difference between a Kavi model and a, any other model. We have been trained the same, we have been doing the same kind of work and it is important for us to as Kavi models, not to expect special treatment because we are Kavi, to do the same amount of work that every other model does. And at the end of the day, you are the one to earn your respect and everyone else will treat you better. We'd like to in invite you for Easily Fashion Week. We have 10 designers. Uh, it's going to be beautiful. And I know people have a different, um, they have a different idea of what a Muslim uh, should wear. And I want you guys to come and see for yourselves how creative we all are. And it's open for everyone. I am not Muslim, I'm Christian. But um, Isili Fashion Week is all inclusive. And it's, about, it's female only. Yeah, it's female. Huh? It's, for, it's female only. Yeah. yeah. So we would like to encourage the girl child to come up, showcase your designs. And yeah, that's it for me. Okay, probably maybe I can just ask her. Uh, we've seen many uh, fashion weeks, you know, uh, here in Nairobi and in Kenya at large. Uh, what what is going to be one of the things that will make a sleeve fashion week uh, unique? Yeah. Sleeve fashion week is actually very very unique, and uh, in its own ways. One of it being, it is first ladies. You can't find anywhere a lady event where there is, you know, and we see also. We distracted men and men were like, why are you distracting us uh, from the event? And they were like, uh, we told them like, you're a big distraction Axel. Mm -hmm. So, and the other thing is like, you know, and I'm a fashion designer. Whenever I need a platform actually, I'm a Muslim, I'm also a fashion designer, I'm, I'm being looked down upon. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, uh, and uh, whatever I'm bringing is boring to them. And, you know, uh, and again, whenever I want to attend the big high fashion they will always tell me like there is a certain amount you have to pay so that also encouraged me to make it like uh, to bring all the designers together so that we can pay little even she can as well talk about that and we are paying as little as we can afford 
to you know showcase our brand mm. yeah maybe my question to is uh, what inspired you to come up with the show and also uh, to be precise ladies show uh, why not men yeah ladies show let me start with the ladies first because that is one thing that a lot of men have purchased our ticket uh, so we are refunding actually we are doing refund and we tell them give it to your girlfriend or your sister or something yeah so we did it ladies because whatever we are showcasing is only for ladies we are looking for the market of ladies and it is coming also me i'm talking and me as a designer actually i'm a sport designer for yani i do burkini you know you guys maybe know bikini but there is something called burkini also modest. yes modesty Six. ones yeah also i'm doing gym fitness so that our girls can go without any you know uh, feeling less eh? the other why we made it ladies is because our market is ladies whatever we are selling is ladies each collection we are doing on everything is for ladies but next time inshallah since that nimeona loud iko mingi sana i will add some men inshallah let's <laughs> add I can one add on the um the reason why we are doing ladies only for us especially as muslim women um we one of the reasons why this is only a ladies event we want a space where we feel safe because apart from the fashion show there are some people who will be performing there's some entertainment and as muslim there are also some muslim reserved women who of course will not want to be in the midst of men wakijibamba yeah, very true so we want to kujibamba too as ladies and also most of our collections the designers uh, are going to feature uh, ramadan is starting next week so most of our designs are going to feature a ramadan collection and eid collection so it's more to showcase for the ladies and just a safe space for ladies to come together discuss our network and also just have fun yeah yes yeah, yeah maybe uh, i can just ask something about is this a one time event or is a recurring event which is going to be happening every year it will be it will be a recurring event every year it's, that's why we are calling fashion week it should be even uh, twice or twice in a week you know in a month this no? will be the first time this is our first time yeah, yeah. And but it will be very recurring yeah okay. every year okay and one of you nasra also did a show of course some of you maybe you were there uh, did you learn maybe something from her or maybe some of the people who are watching this video will say ah maybe waliona nasra kufanya hivi pia wao wakaamua kufanya hivi hivi can you talk about it nasra event i wasn't there by that moment but i would love to be there because we are supporting each other you know we are very few in this industry nasra is a good friend of mine but i didn't do she can be a role model but before that i was doing a burkini me myself i used to do it a lot every year then i decided this time why why am i not giving chance to you know call i used to call it burkini but i changed to isli because uh, men, i saw many girls who are very talented from isli or muslim or it's not necessary a muslim but you know who have that anger they they are so hungry to come and and, and you know and showcase their thing but money is slowing them down mm -hmm. so that is why i did and uh, why are we different do we ask what do you yeah. ask mm -hmm. why are we different from the modesty yes, yes. yeah modesty are female she invited all you know anasa is a comedian mm -hmm. so uh, if you go back there you can see a lot of comedians who are coming but if you come to isli fashion week you will see more of like the leader even is a designer mm -hmm. that can tell you more right yeah yeah but i know hard feeling for nasra i love her also <laughs> uh, 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 like uh, for me i was part of uh, nasra's show yeah, as was. a designer yeah um and it's not a competition we all are trying to as a designer we're all trying to uh, get ourselves out there we're all selling the same ideology of modesty fashion it, to muslim and non muslim women who like to dress modestly it's not a competition we're all pushing the same agenda she did her event we went all, we were all went and supported i was among, the, I was among the, the first modesty fashion show i entered as a model yeah, but with two two three years i decided to venture into designs and uh, the one last year i entered as a designer and it's basically we're doing the same thing just trying to put ourselves out there put our creation out there for people to enjoy maybe and she appreciate there. we yeah. can ask her, her no no <laughs> we can ask her that question why is it, was it different though what did you see different right yeah. yes, yes uh it's different from what we're going to do this weekend in terms of as i've already said this is a ladies only yeah. event yeah uh from the other one uh yes there was uh, it was totally different she brought her guests uh they appreciated what we we presented and with this one 
it's going to be more of networking for the ladies and um, there are some uh, big personalities also coming on board uh, which will be unveiled later uh, on our platform, the Isli Fashion Week. So yes, it's different in the sense, not in ideology, but uh, in the sense of the message we are sending as Isili Fashion Week. Okay, yes. We saw the other day, you know, Huda talk about it. I don't know if she's going to be part of it or she, uh, she's going to come as a guest, how much she's going to come as one of the people who want to find the project. Yeah. yeah, Huda is a great supporter, if you know that. If she see a young girl doing something, she's the first person to support. Apparently, she sponsored the event, yeah, and uh, Rich Beauty. And we are here sending thank you so much, Huda. We really appreciate because I just texted her where nobody else believed in me. She believed in me. I texted her. She doesn't know in person. I've never met with her. She has never done. But I texted her. I told her I'm running this and this. Can you kindly come on board? And, uh, you know, I don't ask much. This is, uh, you know, what I'm saying. She told me, well, how much? She was in Dubai by that moment. She sent it. Until today you can see her. You know, without me telling her, she's pushing it, she's posting it. But I don't know if she's coming. But uh, her assistant told me, like, they are coming because they are a part of the sponsors. Yes. I don't know but Huda if she's coming. I would love, I'll send this to Huda. If she's watching today, I will invite her. I would love to see her on board. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, one more time, talk to anyone. And by Bado Hajakwa convinced, it's your time to convince them to come. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Before the question, mm -hmm. before the question, my question was to do you think the reason why you decided to host the female for the fashion show is because of the culture oriented about the Muslims? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can I don't want to I don't want you know to say it more to culture, but deep insight. That's what you touched, right? And um you know and um, it's more it's yeah, it is more to culture. But I, can, I, can you just take yes. that one away? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, let, 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 me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me help her answer that. Um, I, even, let me say, a good example is like for us ladies, when you're truly summer boarding school, you're girls. You have so much fun when boys are not around, right? Yeah, so we want to create that space where ladies can just come and be themselves, uh, voice your opinions without being judged, and feel confident, interact with other ladies, learn from other ladies, because it's we just want to create a safe space for ladies. Apart from learning and uh, interacting with others, Mkujem Jibambe, Sawa. So there is another person who is honorable, Alnur. He put, I think, uh, in uh, 20,000 worth of tickets for his fans only. And we're really sending thank you so much also to him. And uh, what of advice or something? I don't know. <laughs> what did he ask? To talk to the fans about the Malaysia to maybe have to go Oh, okay. Where they can buy yeah. tickets. Yeah. Anyone, anyone who are interested, please kindly come and support us. It's our first time, you know. Uh, not everybody can support you, so we will love you. Come on board, support the designers, you know, uh, and uh, you know. But what our ticket is as simple as you know, 1,000 Kenyan money. You know, you see a few only remaining, so we will love you to come on board. And thank you so much for your time. Okay, My How much are the tickets? Ticket is 1,000. Oh yeah, VIP is 2,000, and the you know, the regular one is 1,000 Kenyan money. Yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> she has a lot to say, even you. Yeah, so um, we'd like you guys to come on board. And I actually concur with what they've said about women coming together and supporting each other. And also, um, there's, there's that feeling when you are just with your girls, you are free, you're able to be yourself. And I'm hoping that all ladies can come and like and and actually learn from the modesty fashion and see how we can all dress well and creatively without necessarily exposing ourselves okay yeah right. thank you so much thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.